Hi, I'm Mac Brown, the rector of St. James Episcopal Church here in Taos, New Mexico. And I wanted to gather with you this morning in prayer and to preach a sermon on the readings, especially John 11, the raising of Lazarus from the dead. If you want to go ahead now and pause and go over to lectionarypage.net so you can see both the collect for the day and those readings, that would be appropriate. You can also get your prayer book and turn to page 219 as we begin with the collect for this, the fifth Sunday in Lent. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, you alone can bring into order the unruly wills and affections of sinners. Grant your people grace to love what you command and desire what you promise, that among the swift and varied changes of, a, of the world, our hearts may surely there be fixed where true joys are to be found. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. What a collect. What a collect and what a time we find ourselves this, the fifth Sunday in Lent in 2020. The swift and varied changes of the world. I don't know if I've felt that more any other time than this year as news continues to come in and we are uncertain of where we'll be in the days ahead. And yet I am reassured that again, God calls us to focus on the thing we're to focus on. The unchanging and unabridged, unabated, redeeming love and grace of God. That even today, as we fast from what is known and what is comfortable, we stand in that loving embrace that God's love does not change. I don't know if you all know this about me, but I have an affinity for bumper stickers. I like how they can uh, be completely ridiculous or, or completely accurate in so few phrases. And one of my favorite ones is one that I'm not even sure I, I've seen but one from our American history. You may recall it from the mid-late 70s and early 80s. And it honestly is one of the most theologically accurate bumper stickers I've ever seen. It's two words and an exclamation point. And I think if we were at St. James, I don't know if I would tell you what it says. But since I'm out here in God's good creation, and I think I can just tell you, then in these days, this bumper sticker is giving me some blessed reassurance. And that bumper sticker simply says, friends, shit happens. That's right. Shit happens. God does not punish. God does not judge negatively. God's judgment has already been brought on us. And that is innocence, redemption, salvation, and unabridged love. But shit still happens. Not because God wills it. God does not will the death of sinners, but that we re return and repent to his love. Shit happens because we are broken and foolish, arrogant and unkind and unloving. And so in these days, when so much of the news focuses on the bad news, I want to remind you of the good news, that God's grace and love is still abound, abounding for all of us to find. This past Thursday, your food pantry at St. James Episcopal Church here in Taos served 493 cars. That's 493 cars through our parking lot. That's about two, car, two families per car, so about 1,000 families, about 1,554 people on the registered log came to our altar of love and were fed. We may not be there this Sunday, but God is still here, still doing the work. It reminds me of the gospel reading, John 11, when Mary runs out to Jesus and says, Lord, if you had just been here, my brother would not have died. And I think we could find ourselves in a similar place, shaking our fists and saying, God, if you were here in these days and these times, this shit would not be happening. But my friends, God is here. Look into it. Look into the darkness to see the light. In our fast, allow ourselves to hunger so that we can see that we are being fed. God is working miraculous works amongst us and in us in these days. I hope your prayer life is being resurrected as Lazarus is, being unbound by the previous expectations and that you are able to walk with God in the garden that he has redeemed. I hope that your preparations for the Easter celebrations are still underway. They will look different, but we will still make our song at that empty tomb. So my friends, let us prepare. Next week we enter Palm Sunday as we enter Jerusalem. We get ready for Holy Week. Watch this YouTube channel to see how you can continue to use your prayer book to pray at home and join me 
as we gather with all of God's redeemed around God's altar to sing those songs, to claim the truth that God's love does not end and that we are his people in this place, loving as we are loved. In the name of the one who loved first, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you, my friends. Take care of each other, love on each other, and may the grace of God be with you always. Amen.